Hey y'all, welcome to Jay's Views. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Before we jump into today's celebrity news, hit the like button and subscribe just to help this channel grow. Today's celebrity news is Bia and Cardi B. The rap girlies are fighting. Now, Cardi B and Bia have been accused of copying each other's style when it comes to music. And, you know, the fans have also pointed it out uh, because of the fact that both of the artists use the same sample from Missy Elliott. She's up in their songs. Cardi B has Like What? And Bia also has a song called She's Up as well now be a drop before cardi b so moving along like we thought everything was gucci but bia was still in her feelings because she feels like a big superstar you know cardi b is allegedly trying to be like her trying to look like her wants to be like bia so anyways we all mind our own business and then all of a sudden Cardi B finally responds to all these allegations with her uploading a new song via Twitter saying bees make a fool of themselves every single time. I'm going to show y'all something when I release this song though. So she hopped on the wannabe remix featuring Meg Thee Stallion and Glorella. So once Cardi B dropped the wannabe remix, Bia did not waste no time because this was her moment. She needed to let her let it out. And so she reacted to the wannabe remix by going to her Twitter account and she posted this. How you crashed out? Bia also was... tweeted, Bees is whack, Bees is trash. Hang bees right over my knee. The way I be putting my belt to the ah, laughing emojis. Then she also tweeted, B, you don't want me in the booth. I'm really like that. Cause you know, Bia be writing her own lyrics. You know, she be writing her own music. And you know, word on the street is that Cardi B has a writer. Now we all thought the rap girlies were done, you know. You know, Bia gave us a hint that she might be going into the boot. So anyways, we again, we were all minding our own business. And then Cardi B hopped on her IG live to let us know that Bia's been lying about her kitty cat. And one thing she don't play is people talking about her kitty cat. And y'all can remember what happened to Tasha K when she lied about Cardi B's kitty cat. So y'all tap into cardi b explaining the whole situation with her with bia from point a to point z because honestly the math is not my thing i feel like these girls low-key liked each other but i don't know if it has something to do with Nicki minaj y'all tap in this is the day that i i wanted i called her and we ended i called her and i recorded it because you you just never know what these i recorded it and I'm not even going to lie. The conversation started very nasty. It started very nasty, very aggressive. I was coming at her and she was coming at me. But then I called her back because I called her back because, I, and look, I ain't, I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I got the whole conversation. I could put the whole 35 minutes up. Like, I have the whole conversation. Because you saying that I'm copying you. And also, also, this is my thing though, right? Yeah, no, the not conversation not started real nasty, right? It started real nasty. And then I called her back because I'm so appalled at the fact that she thinks that I'm copying her or that I'm stealing from her. Because there's nothing that she do that I that I like. I don't like her music. I don't like her style. I don't like how she look. I don't like nothing about her. I don't even see the like more or less. But the conversation, I called her back. I called her back because I wanted her to make it very clear. Like, it's like, girl... When I did my first song, like what? I been did it before you put it out. And then uh, Enough, which she thinks that I copy her ad libs and whatever. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah. 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 Something with the beat. It's like, girl, this is the day that I. the scoop 
Why you ain't tell him the scoop? You know offset. Why you ain't tell him the scoop? Why you ain't tell him? Go ahead, tell him. Because you ain't had nothing to say. Take it to the internet. You want to put lies and shit. You want to get your little stream up. You want to get your shit up. So, yeah. And I talk, and like I said, I talk, I talk with receipts. Real shit. But that's the type of shit that I be dealing with behind closed doors. I I never even addressed it. All of this shit been happening the past, ever since I, I, I put out like what? Mind you, I never subbed this girl a day in her life. A day in her life. Actually, she has gone to a couple of people saying like, yo, I don't have a problem with Cardi. And I told my people like, yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with her. I never had a problem with her. Like the internet is going to always make things a problem because you know how it is, like the choose and side shit. But I always like, you know, I always let her know to the, to the people that be like, yo, I don't have a problem with her. That is like, I don't, I don't ever have a, a, a problem with her. And I told her that shit on the phone because she brought, you know what? I'm not even going to say about nothing that, that the conversation that went on on the phone. Cause when time comes, I'm just going to put the whole 36 minutes. I'm going to put the whole 36 minutes. I don't got to talk about the things that we spoke on. All I got to tell you is that I know I proved my point. And my so find something safe to do. You want to talk about you, you not Tasha K. You're right. Ask Tasha K. She tried, when, when she tried to lie that shit on me, what happened? Ask her, ask her. You're not, you're actually. Also, I just don't understand, like, this is my thing. If it's a rap battle or do up, more or less, I feel like she's so beneath me that I feel like I never had to. But it's like, when you go around lying on me and lying on me, and then it's like, you doing top, you doing lies that is like, you trying to mess with my home. Like, you trying to mess with my house. You trying to mess with my house. And it's like, to me, like, that's beyond rap shit. Like, to me, that's like, yo, that's some, that's some real hating ass shit. And it's crazy because not only is that some real hating ass shit, but it's like, I'm not perfect. My life is not perfect. You know what I'm saying? And I'm in a great place in my career. Whether I drop music or not. I'm still one of the top female rappers, the top female rappers. When I don't drop music or when I'm dropping music, I'm the I'm one of the most streamed and most talked about, even when I'm laying down at home. What are y'all thoughts? Drop it in the comments section. Is the math math ink? Because sis says she is not copying Bia. She had like that and enough from time. And y'all know Cardi B was going through some problems, you know, marriage issues with um, her hubby Offset. So maybe that also played a part with her not dropping her music sooner. So y'all, I don't know. I really don't know because Cardi B is the queen of, you know, taking, you know, people's flows. Like, for example... Kodak Black song, you know, she did, she blew up with his song, with the flow, with her song, I can't even talk today, with her song called Bodak Yellow, you know what I mean, so I don't know, but anyways, Bia decided, you know what, enough's enough, and she responded back to Cardi B's Instagram live by going on her Instagram page and posting this, y'all. Put that shit on God that you ain't changed your face of mine. Now get on your ass so I don't have to waste no time. Say you love yourself, but you won't put that on your kids. All that surgery and how your body looks so mid. Thought your ass was for the culture. You just try to ride the way. You should be home with your kids, cause bitch, you speak like second grade. Now these bitches getting brave. Heard this whole do boo real. Wrote this shit after I prayed. So I'm gonna call a party, cause we gon' bake her ass a cake. Got a dark soul. I got a bright future. I'ma let her know. I'm a sharp shooter. You ain't nothing but a fuck girl. Damn, Bia said what? Cardi B changed her face to look like her? And allegedly, and I'm not gonna lie, Bia is not lying because low-key, low-key, Cardi B does look like Bia. Honestly, even in the Like That video, oh my God, the similarities, the makeup, the outfit, the, the everything, okay? So I don't know what's going on with the girlies, the rap girlies, because... I'm not sure if they're working with the same makeup artist, if they're working with the same production team. You know, something's not adding up here.
to go back to Cardi B talking about her kitty cat that Bia is spe- spreading false rumors about her kitty cat. Like, I understand where Cardi B is coming from. I I know if Cardi B was not married and, and she didn't have no children and she was still in the streets dancing, she could care less about what Bia is saying. But because now she's a mother and she's no longer dancing and she's a married woman and, you know, there's these you know, false rumors about her kitty cat by, you know, people she don't know making up these, you know, scenarios just to break up her marriage. She's not bad. She don't, she's not feeling that. Especially like from her coming from the bottom and working so hard to get to the top. And like, she's trying to create a safe environment for her children. Like she's trying to leave the past to the past. So she's tired of girls talking about her kitty cat. And she's a married woman. She's not going to step out of her marriage like that, allegedly. Maybe Offset will, allegedly, but she's not doing that. And she admitted that her marriage is not perfect. But y'all need to stop lying about her kitty cat. Like, why do you guys want to... To me, it's like everyone's just bringing up her past. Because she used to be a dancer, it's easy to lie about her kitty cat. But what are y'all thoughts? Drop it in the comment section. Because, ooh, this tea is too hot. And I'm hoping Cardi B will respond back to uh, Bia's latest track. But who knows? You know, maybe Cardi B is like, you know what? I'm done giving this girl clout. She had enough for the day. Y'all go stream her music. Go support her. Um, you know, and I feel Bia too. Because I'll be in my feelings if I feel like, yo, I dropped a song. And then this A-list, this A-list, A-list, my bad. This A-list celebrity is copying my flow, taking my beats copy my ad libs or whatever they call that word you know i'll feel some type of way too so y'all let me know what y'all thoughts in the comment section before i end my video please again <laughs> hit that like and subscribe button to help this channel grow you know trying to be the next wendy williams better yet the next oprah until next time bye